Please excuse the state of me. This is how I've looked for probably the past four weeks. It's been lovely and relaxing and I hope that you've all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. But it's time to get back on it now. So today is Sunday. I've been on plan since Wednesday, I think. Yeah, I've been on plan since Wednesday, it's now Sunday, but I'm ready to go back to work tomorrow, so I needed to get my ass into gear and get back into plan. So today I'm doing another food shop and I will show you what I bought and also show you my meal plan for the week as well. But for now I'm just going to make some breakfast and then show you what I'm having and like I say, I'll show you later on what I'm having for the rest of the week and what my plans are. So yeah, I'll crack on and make breakfast now because I am starving and it's half nine, so... Breakfast this morning, I'm having 40 grams of these. They are from Aldi. Um, they are a healthy extra B and they're lovely. You don't really get many for 40 grams, um, but when you bulk it out with some fruit, it's gorgeous. So I warm them up for about 15 to 20 seconds just to take the crispiness off them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have that. Banana blueberries and a cup of tea using some of my milk from my healthy extra A. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. This is breakfast, so Weetabix minis, they're not Weetabix, they're Aldi, but I call them Weetabix minis. Uh, banana, which is free, blueberries, which is speed, and some milk from a healthy extra A allowance in my cup of tea and in my cereal. And in my tea, I've got a biscuit brew and three sweeteners because I need something sweet this morning. So yeah, this is my breakfast, complete this in free using my healthy extra B. And I will show you shortly what my meal plan is for the rest of the week and um, my shopping list as well. So yeah. So this is my meal plan for the next. 11 12 days or so now when i do my shopping i go on a saturday or a sunday and i'll get one week's worth of food and then next week i'll go again and get the rest so <laughs> yeah i'll make him one now um okay so this is the meal plan for this week so i'm gonna do roast chicken i've got chicken curry with the leftover chicken from there sausage pasta i've got gammon egg chips and i'm gonna use a leftover gammon to make a carbonara and then i'm gonna do diet coke chicken because we've not had that for ages so when i do my shopping list it's like a, a little bit of a process <laughs> so i'll write out you need a blanket yeah get under there with olivia um, I write out everything that I need um, and then what I do is I go through my cupboards and cross off what I've already got just so I'm not double buying, not wasting anything and um, it helps me budget as well which is really good. So all these things that I've crossed off is stuff that I've already got in the cupboard. The stuff in green is stuff that I've transferred over onto the next shopping list <laughs> which is me putting it in order and putting it into categories so it's easy for me to find so I don't miss stuff out in the supermarket and walk straight past it. So yeah, this is what I need to pick up from shopping today for the meals this week. Um, so I'm going to pop to Asda or Aldi, I'm not sure yet, and I will show you later on what I bought. I have now put some makeup on so I'm more presentable. I'm going to sort this room out and then I'm going to go food shopping. really don't want to go out, it looks freezing outside, but yeah. I need to sort this out, this out, and then go shopping. Mm, got your mask ready to go shopping? Yeah. Okay then. Okay, so we're on our way to shopping now. I'm gonna go and get everything that I need. And a lot of ice. For the week, there is a lot of ice on the road, so we're driving carefully, aren't we? Yes. And we've got our masks, haven't we? So when we go shopping. Yeah. And our hand sanitizer. Wait, I have one. I've got some in my bag. So we're gonna go and pick up the bits from. I'm gonna go to Aldi just because I want to get in and out and get home. If I go into Asda, then that means I've got to go into the centre, which I don't want to do. So. I'm going to Aldi to get the bits that I need. Yeah. We've got to get all packed lunch stuff, haven't we? Because you're back at school tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And um, when I'm at school tomorrow. It's not going to be my birthday, but after that it is. On Tuesday it's going to be your birthday. After school. All day on Tuesday. I wanted to just quill, uh, film a quick update on weighing. So I haven't weighed 
since November, yep. I'm going to say. So I've not weighed in, I've not put my weight in. I have paid for a countdown, um, but like everyone else, I've thoroughly enjoyed Christmas. I don't feel guilty about it. I weighed in on Wednesday morning, which is my weigh-in day, and I'd gained seven pounds. So I'm now 11 pounds away from Target, um, and it's a fresh start for me now. So 100% back on plan. Um, counting everything, weighing everything, measuring everything and yeah I just need to stay focused and get this £11 off so I can finally get to Target hopefully this year. I mean last year was tough, we were all in lockdown and how I managed to lose the weight that I did I don't know. It got to me towards the end of the year which is when I started to gain a little bit of weight um, because I was in eating my feelings pretty much like everyone else in the country but yeah I'm focused I'm back on it I've enjoyed Christmas it's out of my system and yeah we're ready for it now although we do have a birthday on Tuesday and then we have another one on Thursday don't we yeah. so I'm just gonna have to either stay away from birthday cake what? or make sure that I get myself some jelly and custard or something like that to make no. sure that I stay on plan no not for you you want a birthday cake don't you yeah I want a birthday cake no, not you, me. But yeah, we're just arriving at Aldi now. We're nearly there. Um, and then I'll show you what I've got when I get home. I don't really like filming while I'm in there. Yeah. Too nervous for that yet. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you what I get when I get back. So I am back from shopping. As you can see, I spent £39.48. Um, I normally spend about 50 to 60 pound on a week shop for all five of us and the reason that i've managed to be able to get that price down a lot is because i did what i normally do and crossed everything off the list that i already had in the cupboard so i've not overbought anything um, i'm making my potatoes go a little bit further i'm making the chicken go a little bit further and the meals are planned for the full week so i'll go through what i've bought and what i'm going to use it all for um and yeah really happy with what i've spent and I need to crack on because I've got loads to do today, back to school tomorrow, uniforms to do, I'm cooking a roast dinner, um, so I need to do the whole chicken. So yeah, I'll show you what I've got anyway. So I've got some white potatoes, now I've got those to do roast potatoes today, I've also got them to do some chips for gammon, I think that's all I bought them for. Um, I've got a whole chicken for today, half of this will go on the roast and then half will go on chicken curry and egg fried rice tomorrow. I've got sausages for sausage pasta. I've got the eggs and spring onions for um, the egg fried rice, along with the two pouches of rice there, which will do all five of us. Um, and the eggs will also go towards the gammon and egg. Um, I've got peppers, which are speed food. I've got Diet Coke, which again is the cheap version, but I'm only using it for the Diet Coke chicken this week anyway. So for the Diet Coke chicken, I've got soy sauce, passata, chicken, um, sugar snap peas, which is all the ingredients that I did need, everything else I've already got. Um, then I've got a gammon joint, now like I said that will do gammon, egg and chips for this week with some tomatoes and some peas, I've got peas in the freezer. Um, and then half of that is going to be used to do a carbonara, so I've got the gammon joint, some spaghetti and some soft cheese. Now the soft cheese is two and a half sins for 25 grams yeah two and a half sin oh no two sins for 25 grams sorry so yeah i'll probably use half of that for all five of us um, and then the other half might put into a pasta bake next week if it stays in date but yeah i'm not going to use all of that um, then for lunches i've got these i picked them up in home bargains um because i just nipped in there to pick up a trolley because there was none left so they're two and a half sins each and they'll be really good just for a quick lunch with some bread or some crisps and stuff like that so yeah i've got those chicken flavor i've got pesto which is i believe for it's two sins for a tablespoon so yeah that'll go lovely with some pasta and some rocket just for a quick lunch while i'm working at home and the kids are back at school then I've got kids pack lunch stuff, so I needed to get a lot of these juices. I normally go to Costco and bulk buy, but I really did not want to go today. I can't be bothered. I've got too much to do, and it's like a good couple of hours out of the day. So I thought I'd just pick these up from Aldi. I've already got one in the fridge, so I just picked up four more because um, we use 15 a week for all three children. So 
yeah um i've got mini wraps for the kids lunches i've got two lots of cheese slices now these are four sins per slice they're not as a healthy extra and um, but i wouldn't use them anyway i normally just use the lighter cheese which i've already got in the fridge um i've got some of these brioche rolls for the kids snacks for school the six and a half sins each again i absolutely love these but now i know what the sins are i probably wouldn't use these i'd rather a bar of chocolate like a freddo or something like that um, then I got these kids yogurts, they weren't on the app um, and I wouldn't use these anyway, I've picked up my own yogurts today so I've got those for the children and then I've also got some food and freezer bags for sandwiches, snacks etc. Picked up some honey nut cereal because the kids love these, um, really cheap as well, only 85p for those and it's 5 cents for 25 grams so I won't be using the, those um, but I did pick up these multigrain hoops, it's 40 grams for a healthy extra B. I did see these um, on Chloe Phillips' Instagram, I think I've had these before um, but I've not had them in such a long time that I thought it'd be a nice change so yeah I picked those up. I picked up some honey because the kids love it on porridge. I like it on porridge with fruit and it's one sin for a teaspoon and really affordable as well. Actually, honey can be quite expensive. So this was £1.20, I think, for the pot. Um, then I picked up these light Greek style coconut and vanilla yogurts. I really like the muller ones of these and the one sin each. So I'm hoping that I like these ones as well. Um, I got some seedless white grapes. I've bought these to put them in the freezer with some jelly crystals on. I've been doing that a lot since I started on Wednesday. Um, I've already gone for a full punnet of grapes just because it's something sweet of an evening which takes my mind off eating chocolate and crisps. So pick some more of those up. Blueberries because I have these on nearly every breakfast. Two lots of satsumas as a speed food, really great to snack on and the kids like them in the packed lunches. Bananas, really good for filling you up, especially if you put it over breakfast with some blueberries. But again, they're a free food and the kids love them in the packed lunches also. Two lots of apples because they're on the um, Super 6 at the moment for 55p. So I'll pick two of those up and they're a good speed food just to snack on. I got two lots of diet lemonade now I normally do buy the cans of pop but I'm finding that I'm only drinking a little bit of it and then throwing the rest away so I'm trying to number one save money because it's the year of saving for us because we want to buy a house um and yeah so I thought I'd buy this I could add some juice to it and it will stop me from going through cans quite a lot as well because I normally do that during the day um, then I picked up some cherry tomatoes number one for the gammon and to put through salads and stuff so they're a really good speed food and really good to snack on as well i've got two lots of long life milk now i've stopped buying milk recently like in the pl plastic bottles because we have a milkman now and um, trying to keep the local farmer going so we get our milk on a tuesday and i just buy long life milk to keep us going for the rest of the week i've already got some in the fridge and they didn't have skim today so i just picked up two semi-skimmed I've got these Romeo bars, kids love these, treat size, not too big for the lunches. Um, they are six sins each and they go great in the pack lunches because they are really small. Um, like that's the size of one there. Um, I wouldn't eat one of these for six sins. I'd rather have like a Freddo or a Curly Whirly or something like that. But the kids do love them and they're sort of like a bounty, which is controversial, but the kids really do like them. So uh, I picked up some cheese and onion crisps. They are seven sins a packet. Again, not something that I would normally have, but if I fancy it, it's there and it's sin, so I know what they are, so I'm not going to go over. And then lastly, I picked up two of these. Paul absolutely loves these biscuits. They're like chocolate hobnobs. He says they're better than the actual branded chocolate hobnobs. So I picked up two packs of those, like 45p each. It's five cents per biscuit. I won't touch them because it's one of those things, these, where... I eat three and all my sins are gone for the day and I could easily go through half a packet with a cup of tea so I just stay away from them, bit of a danger zone for me. So yeah, that is everything that I bought. I've not picked up bread today because I picked up some yesterday when I nipped in. That was 30% off, it goes out of date today so I will freeze the rest of it and save it. Um, and there's white bread in the bread bin for the kids as well. So yeah, this is everything that I bought. So I'm fully stocked, ready for the week. I'm going to pack it all away now and then I will start on the housework and I'm going to pop the roast chicken in a little bit later as well for tea. Um, I am due to have dinner because it is ten past one. I am starving so I'll show you what I have once I've put this away. 
so for lunch I'm having the leftover cheese pie from last night. I've just warmed it up in the microwave. I'm going to count um, my second healthy extra A as this and half a sin for the ketchup. Um, there's no speed on here because I can't be bothered having it with anything um, other than fruit. So I'm going to have two satsumas with it and then this will leave me on half a sin for the day um, so far. And then I'll show you our tea when we have that. With my lunch, I've also got two satsumas and a lemonade. The lemonade's sin-free because it's diet. Satsumas are speed food, which gets some speed into my meal. And I've just had some of this and it tastes even better the day after. So yeah, I'm going to eat this now. This is future editing me. I'm just putting the video together and I've noticed, hello, that the video of my Sunday roast was corrupt so I can't input the footage so I'm just gonna pop a picture in and I'll put some details on the picture <laughs> of the sins and all that good stuff so yeah I'll pop it in now Okay, so for snack this evening, I've got a cup of tea as per usual, biscuit brew, which is my fave with two sweeteners in there and some of my healthy extra A allowance. I've got two satsumas for speed food. Then I've got a Freddo, which is five sins. As if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that these are my ultimate favorite dipped in a cup of tea. <laughs> um, and then I've got two quality street, which are two and a half sins each. Um, so this brings my snack total to 10 sins and total sins for the day to 12 and a half. So this will be the last thing that I eat today because I am so ready for bed. So last night I had my snacks. Um, I got a bath and we got an early night because we are back to school, back to work. It's a bit of a reality check this morning. It is quarter past seven. The kids are up just having the breakfast, ready to go back to school. Um, and I am firing the laptop up, ready for work. So yeah. Um, I had a really good day food-wise yesterday, picked up some really good stuff to do my week's meals, which I'm looking forward to. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment, smash a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!